Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. So, Thanksgiving tips for Catholic moms. So, I say this every year in some form, on some podcast, in some email. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You don't have to make a turkey. You could make a ham. You could buy hamburgers. You could get a pizza. You could make boxed mashed potatoes. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay, so just sit down with a piece of paper and really decide what do you want to do. Do you want to home make a whole bunch of things? I mean, how many of you just go to Costco and get that Costco pumpkin pie and it's just fine? And then some of you love making four different kinds of pie from scratch in the days leading up to Thanksgiving. There's no right or wrong way to do Thanksgiving. I was talking to somebody <clears throat> in Canada and they were like, oh, our Thanksgiving is just like not a huge deal. It's just not as serious. The fanfare isn't as big as the way that we do it in the United States. Which is just to say there are different ways. And if you feel a lot of pressure to do something, I want you to sit down and decide why. Like, do you feel a lot of pressure? Let's say you're going to, uh, your mom is hosting Thanksgiving, you're coming, and you feel a lot of pressure to home make the pie instead of buying it. Is that real? Is it just in your mind? Do you want to call her and find out? Even if she says, I'd prefer you to bring a homemade pie, but you just had a baby and you don't want to do that, would you be willing to step into that discomfort? What time of day do you want to do it? Are you annoyed by the people in your family wanting to watch football? If they do that, what do you want to do instead? Like you just get to control everything, even if it's, I'm going to do this because this other person wants me to, and I just like making them happy. That is not a problem. It is not wrong to want to do something nice for someone else. Just don't do it laced with bitterness. Like you had to, you don't have to, you don't have to travel. You don't have to make anything. You don't even have to celebrate Thanksgiving. Especially if you have little kids. I did some coaching and masters on Thanksgiving and two of the women who raised their hand in particular had really little kids who are just not even going to pay attention to Thanksgiving at all. No one was coming to their house. So I was like, you just get to do whatever you want. You could go to a restaurant. You could Uber Chinese food to your house. Just anything. But you know what I hope for you? Is that you are a mom who has peace. That you're not yelling at everyone. That you're not feeling all of this pressure in your body and letting it build up and then getting mad about something that isn't related to Thanksgiving at all. Because you're just believing some sentences in your mind like, I have to do this. Let us just choose to be the peace center of our homes. Let us be calm. Thanksgiving is just another day. You get to choose what's important to you. And if what's important to you is doing what other people want you to do, then celebrate that about yourself. Be proud that you're someone who wants to make you know, that wants to spend the time to cut up all the Brussels sprouts to make the roasted Brussels sprouts thing that you do. I love Brussels sprouts so much. And I just forget that it takes a lot of time to cut them. I have cut so many Brussels sprouts for a dish that I got a blister on my hand. And so now I just know if I want a Brussels sprouts thing, it's going to take a long time to cut them. But I also really like it when they're cut. So now I just choose. I'm like, hey, Sterling, are we up for that Brussels sprout thing this year? Are we doing that? Because we're just doing it for you. You could buy them pre-cut up. You could buy them frozen. You could make something easier. You could do a green bean thing and not cut any of them. 
All right, just own how you want to show up. I'm not going to stop telling this to you guys that you have power. You have control. You can have peace. We probably need to hear it every day for the rest of our lives. But that is my goal with this podcast is to help you create peace in your life. Peace is not something that God gives you. You create it by the way that you think. God gives us grace. God gives us love. But God cannot give us peace. That is a free will, free will feeling that is available to us. But he doesn't make us feel that way. All right? I love you. Thanks so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.